changes to both. If you use untanned hair, it still has a lot of the natural oils from the sebaceous glands that are in the deer that waterproof the hair. If you ever see a deer laying out in the snow, your snow's laying on them, if there's any water, it just bubbles up like you waxed your car. But if you tan the hide, that removes all that oil. So there's advantages and disadvantages to both. This, a lot of people like this, the soft skin and the, the natural hair, or the untanned hides don't have that. It's, it's, a firm, it's a real firm hair, a real firm skin, I should say. Now this is the hardest part of the, doing this fly, trying to get that hair so the tips align so when you go up the, up the fly and you're placing hair on both sides, your wing, if you want to call it that, is, is even. This is the hardest part right here, but hopefully we're going to get this right. Two, three. Yeah, see, that's a little, see right here, you can see it's a little shorter right here than it is back here. So what I have to do is back off. And we're going to try that one more time and just have it come out a little bit farther because when you pull the hair, it push pulls it this way and, and so you have to count, kind of balance that out. There, that time it turned out fine. That's the hardest part of doing these, actually doing the fly. Let me come in here again and trim those little butts right there. Do this on this side, and again, try to do the same thing. Lay that in, and we're going to try to get that length right the first time. Oh, I did that right. It's not too bad. I got one hair there that's sticking out. Okay, I'm going to pull this down. Trim this a little bit right here. And then pull this down. And then bring that thread tight up against that clump. Check the bottom. Trim that little bit off. That looks okay.